St. Patrick's Day, and since we can't be in Ireland today, our next guest bring the luck of the Irish to Virginia this morning. Business entrepreneurs Michael Reagan Waugh and Tisha Donald Jenkins offer tours to Ireland, and they'll be part of the 2017 Churchill Irish Festival next weekend. And we welcome them to our show this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Good morning. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> same Thank to you. you. Same to you. We're so happy to be here. I got a couple of questions, and then we're going to get to all this stuff on the table in a second. First of all, how do they celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland? Ireland. I'm guessing since he was a saint, it's not pub crawls and drinking green beer. <laughs> it, it didn't start that way anyway. Well, it didn't start. And it's still very much a, a holy day. It's the, the national day in Ireland. It's like our 4th of July. But it still starts out uh, for many people uh, going to church or mass and, and starting in that type of reverent way. And then we start war maybe a parade. And the, the parades are getting bigger and bigger over there because it's not a big tradition of you know, trombones and marching bands, mm -hmm. but uh, you'd have these most creative parades because they don't have those types of marching bands, but they have great banners and types of floats and things like that, and, and the traditional Irish music in the pubs and, 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 and just the Bach parties, and it's, uh, it's very exciting. Although the first time I ever, at my first St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, my grandparents are from there, I was in a little town, and you know, I was expecting this big parade, and everybody lined the streets. And the parade goes down, and we're all watching the parade go by, and it's just a lovely parade. It wasn't the biggest parade in the world. It was pretty small. So I dart into the pub before the crowds get in, you know. Well, next thing you know, why is nobody else coming in to the pub? Well, the parade's marching back the other direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, second go at it. So, yeah. uh, and so, but the parade's a short of parade. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like this situation. There's more people watching than actually of the army, <laughs> and they need to jump in the parade. Yes. A, a quick question uh, about St. Patrick. Did he really drive all the snakes out of Ireland? Because that's what they teach us here in school. That's right. That's the legend. And the fact of the matter is there are no reptiles in Ireland. Um, so we'll so it is just credit. a story. But yeah. he did do a lot of other other things. So he did travel all around Ireland and started monasteries and spread uh, Christianity throughout Ireland and that's why he's you know revered and celebrated today. All right you got a couple of things here and I want to uh, ask you about each one of them. This is actually uh, a replica of something very famous in Ireland right? Yes this is the Celtic cross Bill. Um, you see first of all it's Bleak China. It's one of the places we go in our tours. Now we go to a lot of hidden type of places you know but this Bleak is in the north of Ireland, right on the border. And they have been doing pottery for a long time. And a lot of people love going there to shop. Yeah. But the cross itself, you see here the sun. And this is where we, we have St. Patrick uh, kind of working with the pagans back then, or the Celts, uh, the sun god with the cross, and sort of melding kind together. Kind of easing traditions. them into it. Yeah. 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 yeah and that's, yeah. that's the tradition there. And there's a lot of things like that. But this is a Celtic cross. And you also see on the Celtic cross, uh, scripture, scripture. You'll see scenes from the Bible. So a lot of people couldn't read or write, and so you'd have somebody up in front of the cross explaining scenes from the Bible. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So um, there's a, a famous a chair that, pe that you send people to see, but it's it's not really a chair. What is that? Well, it's it's called the St. Patrick's wishing chair. Right? Wishing chair. Yeah, yeah, or prayer chair. A lot of people say prayer, but um, okay. so it's on. It's one of the places we go to. It's called Coney Island. Oh, in New York. <laughs> no, no, no. no, this one's actually in Sligo, Ireland. Okay. And uh, so we go out there, and you have to get, to get to this island. You either take a boat or go at low tide. You can actually get there at low tide, and you dart across. And St. Patrick was said to have gone You, you there. dart across at low tide and ride the boat back at high tide. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's one way. And so, um, so uh, St. Patrick actually came, came there. And uh, of course, he's a lot like George Washington. He slept everywhere, it seems yeah. like. You know, he's been, he's been <laughs> yeah. all over the place in Ireland. But uh, so there's a tradition there, and it's very serious that you go to the stone, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's set like a chair, and there's five little imprints where St. Patrick is known to sat, just like I'm sitting here, and put his fingers into this hole. And then it rains, and so you have water filling that up. And so now the tradition for years and years, and we do this on our tours, we go out there to Coney Island, we do a few other things, but we go out to the wishing chair. Now, you only get one wish a year, so you got to make it good. Make so we go good. out there, you sit on it, you put your fingers in, and you make a wish or a prayer, and then, voila, you're set for whatever. <laughs> so, so when you take Americans there, are, is everybody of Irish descent, or is it it's just a beautiful country and people like to go? It's both. I mean, a lot of times we have people of Irish descent who are looking for their families, um, you know, they may have a, a few clues here and there, and we'll try to help them out and find their ancestral homes. 
Uh, but more often it's people who don't necessarily have an Irish background, but they just want to go to Ireland and find out more about it and understand the culture and the history and all of those wonderful so things. We're seeing these shots of all these rural, beautiful settings. Um, I'm guessing all of Ireland is not a farm with a stone wall in it. There's other things <laughs> to see too, right? Well, there is. I mean, there, we have big cities. Well, Sligo is where we live, and it's a, it's a mid-sized town. Uh, of course, there's Dublin and uh, you know Donegal town. There are bigger places, but what uh, people who are drawn to our tours because we only have six to eight people at a time, so it's small. So we we sort of avoid the bigger places, although we do love going to iconic places like Cliffs of Moher. But it's the, the places that really uh, tuck at people's hearts are the ones when you're going down this road, Bill, and there's grass growing in the middle of it. Uh. And we can slip down there and, and walk and, and, and discover all these great places. Ah, now look at him. All right. Yeah. So he's I the have, you have a poem for me to read, right? I do. Yes. Well, when you're from uh, Sligo, where we're from, is known as the land of heart's desire, William Butler Yeats. And uh, so we wanted to make you a poet, an honorary Wild Westie. I know you're a Welsh man, but St. Patrick was too, by the way. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, I, with my apologies to Yates in advance, here we go. And this is called, He Wishes for the Cloth of Heaven. Had I the heavens embroidered cloth, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloth of night and the light and the half light, I would spread the cloth under your feet. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. Oh, isn't that lovely? Let's hear it. Very good. <laughs> Beautiful. We have time for about 10 seconds of a poem. Can you give us a, well, yes. a, a real quick, uh, actual right, good days. one? Okay. Where dips the rocky highland of Schlipfwood in the lake? There lies a leafy island where flapping herons wake. The drowsy water rats, there we've hid our fairy vats, full of berries and the reddest of stolen cherries. Come away, oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you could understand. See, that's why we saved him for last. <laughs> for more information on Wild West Irish Tours, we will put a link on our website show uh, right after the show, wtvr.com slash VTM.